Hi Taurus and welcome to your soulmate reading. In this reading we are going to look at the destiny with your soulmate for this lifetime and we're going to also explore some past life energies and this reading could be talking about a soulmate currently in your life or a soulmate that you are about to meet or you are destined to align to in this life journey. So I'm going to start with the card as an overall message from spirit and this could be you know talking about what's positive in the connection. Um, a weakness in the connection just whatever spirit wants to say so let's see what comes out okay so this is the artwork and it's a ooh, secret admirer someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on Taurus this right here the reading that this for those of you that this reading is truly for um, I go two ways with this one is there is somebody in your life that you already know um, that is the one for you okay you just might not be aware of it yet but um, they're definitely noticing you all right they are noticing you and they're feeling you they just they may or may not have put that out there but for some single Tauruses there is somebody who really does want to get in your world and I feel like this is your soulmate now for other Tauruses out there this is somebody who's watching you from afar somehow some way okay and you may be completely unaware of who they are it could be um, like if you you go to the bank it could be somebody who works at the bank and every time you come in they're like oh there's Taurus Ooh, you know it could be something like that so definitely you singles out there somebody is around you that is your soulmate and really is noticing you and now for other Taurus what I feel with this is you and your soulmate are in separation like you've already met and there is some sort of separation going on and they are watching you from afar watching your social media and if you are currently in alignment with this soulmate I feel like they're very closed up okay um, being in alignment with them feels like the least or the lowest of the messages coming through it's like you haven't met this person but they see you and they notice you or this is somebody you've already met um, and have been with and you separated for whatever reason and they're still watching very closely all you do but this is general so if if we're in union this person's really closed up and mysterious to you and you question you question them quite a bit okay so let's pull a past life energy and see what you guys had going on in your past life because that definitely um, you know impacts what's going on in this life so let's see what comes through all right so we have monk or nun your last life journey you guys did not experience each other in a romantic way even though you could have very deeply loved each other and been very bonded with each other it's like you both chose a path to walk with spirit in this previous incarnation and monk or nun is just you know an example on the card if you were a monk they would have um, you know you both would have incarnated in the masculine form nun you both would have have incarnated within the feminine form and this is like a deep deep bond of friendship okay at that type of intimacy there was no romance in this last life journey doesn't mean there it wasn't there in previous lives okay it's just this last life journey you both really devoted yourself to spiritual growth and that is how you knew each other you were spiritual companions this wasn't intended to be romantic you both evolved a lot through this like deep friendship and that was more supportive and there was no love um, no romantic love you know for you guys because you were you both were focused on a path walking with spirit so it's not like they were in love with somebody else you were in love with somebody else you were just friends no you both chose a spiritual journey your last incarnation and that's where your connection existed the strongest a deep deep support system for each other so that's beautiful Taurus and with this soulmate in this incarnation you are going to immediately feel that deep deep soul bond right away and you guys are going to be best friends with each other and understand each other um immediately feel familiar within each other's energy and you guys in this life journey very very likely to share the same sort of uh, religious beliefs or spiritual beliefs because you you shared that together last life journey that was your focus okay so let's uh 
let's pull some more cards and you know they may be a little bit shy Taurus this person feels kind of a bit more timid but like once they know you you can't get them to shut up right it's just um, before they really know somebody they're quite closed off and that's why you know it comes through as admirer because you know there's somebody around you who really is feeling you and it would be this beautiful soulmate connection um, and you just you may or may not be aware of it yet okay but you guys were are absolutely gonna be best friends best friends this life that's gonna be one very strong um, point of this relationship and this connection so let's take a look at your energy their energy and the energy that exists in between and the sides are interchangeable so you decide which side is speaking for you and then obviously the other side would be your soulmate so one side is coming through as the five of wings defeat and the other side is coming through as the Prince of Shells, the Charmer. Okay, so at the time that I'm doing this reading and you come to it, there is definitely some sadness, some heartache going on in one of you. And, um, you know, this could be you from a, a previous romantic connection that ended. You could be feeling really sad and down and defeated. And that's why this person is just kind of watching from afar. Okay. Um, waiting for the right time to approach Taurus once Taurus hills, if this is you. Or this could be them. And they've been through a lot. And they're in the uh, process of healing and maybe you are the one that's kind of watching from the outskirts waiting for the moment that is appropriate to approach this okay so one of you is feeling very sad very hurt working through some emotions and now if we are in separation that would make sense right one person is really struggling with the separation all right and if we're in union there's distance here. I just, I really don't feel like you guys are in union. I don't. This is like, we've never been together yet. I'm watching from afar or I'm disconnected from my soulmate. Like I feel disconnected. We're not together right at this time. And the other person coming through is the Prince of Shells, the Charmer. This is somebody who is, is ready and waiting to extend their cup of love. Um, like, I, I want to be with you. I'm open. I'm ready. I'm seeking a commitment. So one of you is working through some deep emotions, and one of you is just ready to go. Like, hello, here I am. So let's see between you. We have the magician in its energy. Yep. So because the magician is coming in between and this says energy, I do feel, Taurus, that A, um, you're not, you haven't met this person, but they see you, or if you do know them, you're, I don't really feel you're aware of their deep, deep interest for you. They hide it pretty well, okay, or separation. Like that's, I feel that's what's going on in this connection because with the energy, it's like saying there's no physicality right now. It's just energy between the two of you. Okay. There's no physical connection happening at this time. And it's really because of, you know, whoever is struggling with these emotional issues. And even if we're separated and you're, and, and you're hurting, Taurus, it doesn't mean that you can't come in over on the side as being the one who is open and ready to love. Um, it's like just one of you can't properly love at this time because of what you've been through, okay, in the past. And so those of you in separation, that might be what separated you, is one of you is, is still just working through a lot of emotional energies of the past and it just affected this connection and didn't give it a true chance to grow and evolve all right so you could definitely be sad because it's separated but also you are ready and open for the relationship or this could go the other way um, maybe you are the one that's really trying to work through some emotions and there's this beautiful soulmate that you had to separate from because you're not ready they wanted more than you could give at this time okay it could go either way but um, what's meant to be will be, and right now the energy that exists in between, whether um, you've been together and now are separated or you've yet to ever be together in a romantic sense, 
it, it's just it's not happening like at the time of this reading you guys are separated okay so let's pull some more cards about that and again it's really about this energy who is one of you needs to heal and maybe um, we can only be friends right now okay maybe that's the situation some of you are in it's like you could only be friends right now but you guys have established such a solid soul bond from this past life existence nobody will understand you or get you more nobody will understand them or get them more than you okay because you you guys have been working at this for lifetimes you are true soul companions kindred spirits Twin Flame Kundalini, yeah, see? True Self. Emotional Baggage. Twin Flame Recognition. Twin Flame Journey. Ooh, look at that, Taurus. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I just, everything we already got, Taurus, everything we already got. Here's the bond that exists from day one, from the first moment of coming into contact, okay? But for the one who's hurting, they may not be fully aware of how deep this bond goes, but they're definitely gonna fill it, okay? So there it is, right from the start. However, we have a really hard time being ourself initially because of that emotional baggage that exists inside one of you, okay? So um, wherever it's at, that person could have been trying to pretend whether it's you or them no I, I I could be in this connection I'm ready I'm ready when at the end of the day no there was some more healing that needed to be done okay and so also for those of you where this is uh, somebody just kind of watching you or you're just kind of watching them we can't be true with each other until this emotional baggage is healed either within you or within them all right so that right there is the only thing that I feel is preventing you from aligning to them at this time or what has separated you if you were prior um, if you guys were previously in union with each other okay it's all about healing that emotional baggage because then the true self can emerge and this is what comes through okay um, twin flame recognition twin flame journey where both of you are finally on the same page so after that emotional baggage is healed either within you within them this is what you evolve into and there's no more question moving forward like you guys are definitely meant to be together look at that it's um but the energy right now is just energy um not together okay but there will be an awakening within the one who is working through this because this is what is separating you or preventing you from coming into union at this time all right and if you guys were together it's just like you would um, only receive a shell of who they are or they would only receive a shell of who you are okay just depending on who's watching who and who has emotional baggage all right and even those of you who have been together previously it's everything in you to come back in union but again um, one of you would only be a shell of who they are until this energy is fully worked through okay and once that happens boom here you guys are on the same page ready to be together because one of you is like here is my cup I want to love you I want to be with you you are you know something so special and out of this world as far as uh, I'm concerned I, I give you everything they're ready to go very romantic that uh, Prince of Shells okay somebody who is sensitive romantic giving loving nurturing Okay, could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So let's pull some a tarot to go deeper about this journey you guys share this lifetime. Um, but yeah, right, right away, you guys just click, okay? You do. You click. And that's what uh, is going to eventually bring you together fully or bring you back together, okay? Oh, yes, the sun. And that's coming out under Twin Flame Kundalini. Yes. You guys are so meant to be. Prince of Roses, the mover. And that's under True Self. 
emotional baggage. We have seven of gems and frustration. Under twin flame recognition, we have the hanged man. And we have the nine of wings obsession over here. Okay, so Taurus, what this tells me is you guys are meant to be. Oh my gosh, you guys are meant to be, okay? Could be um, a fire sign as well. Aries, Taurus, Aries, Taurus, what am I saying? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but this emotional baggage, this here, it really is frustrating, okay, for you, for them. But this is like, this has got to be overcome first. Um, and, you know, anybody that has a broken heart, my rule of thumb after personal experience of a couple serious relationships is no matter how you how much you are into somebody or how much fun you have with them, how much you click with them, only be their friend if their heart is broken and they're in the healing process because that could be you know, um, soil any real potential of romantic love because when somebody's heart is broken and they're in the healing process, that's what is, you know, called the rebound, right? When you get into a relationship when your heart's broken over somebody else, that's just your rebound relationship. So no matter how deeply you care and feel connected to somebody, if they're trying to heal their own broken heart at this time, just be their friend. That, that gives you the highest chance of potential of romance when they're ready without all of that emotional heartache and pain and damage that they will cause you because when somebody's broken, all they can give you is broken pieces of them and you can't fix them, you know, uh, you can't fix them. Nobody can fix anybody. It's an inside job. All you can do is love and support them and be a very positive, stable force in their life. So, um, if this is you kind of watching somebody from afar or looking at your soulmate who you are separated from, Spirit is saying it's best to be not romantic for your own protection, for your own heart. Be their friend. Hold that space with them because once they heal, who they are, what they are is going to really shift and change. Also, if you are the one with the broken heart and you have this beautiful opportunity of this soulmate um, trying to come in and you, you know that, Taurus, only allow them to be your friend until your heart is totally healed so that there's nothing that you do during your, you know, your recovery here that could potentially hurt them or harm the connection. Just be real and straight up. Look, I am an emotional mess. You cannot fix me. I've got to do that myself. You could be my friend. You could be supportive. And we could share that connection for now and um, see if anything ever potentially blossoms beyond that. But right now, I've got to focus on healing myself. And I have nothing to offer you. And that's the kindest thing I could say. I have nothing to offer at this time. And as much as I want love and I want to feel good, I'm not selfish. And I'm not going to take your love when I can't give it. You know? So... If you're the one that's really trying to work through your emotional baggage of the past, just be real because what's meant to be will be and they will be there and they will be a supportive friend until your heart is able to open up and love again. And vice versa, Taurus, if they're, you know, working through their emotional stuff, just be their friend because they don't have anything to give you except for the pain that's in their heart and you don't deserve that. You deserve much, much more than that. Okay, so just keep that in person perspective and you know those of you who are separated right now I know um, that the pain that you feel is very overwhelming and frustrating to you like I don't understand why we can't move past this you will in time it's just like one of you needs to heal and until that happens they are blocked so this could be your soulmate or this could be you until the full healing has taken place. It's the hangman energy about love, about soulmate, about twin flame. It's hangman energy until that healing comes in. Does it mean that doesn't exist? It's just it can't fully be seen and recognized by one of you until, um, you know, the healing has been completed. And, you know, spirit says, don't worry, don't overthink this connection what is meant to be will be it's just somebody needs to heal right now 
and that's that's really the only thing I see that uh, prevents this connection and it's part of your soul contract and you know what be happy for that um, because if you if you really love somebody Taurus and you're just kind of waiting for them to, to move through their their emotions and their life um, just be grateful that you're you're there and you're not um, there romantically because when somebody's really hurt and really broken, believe me, they don't have anything to give. They will only take and take and, and suck you dry and suck the love right out of you. It's because they don't have anything to give back. And so you are so much safer not being in that space with them until they are ready and, and fully back together, all right? And as Spirit just keeps bringing that up, maybe some of you um, feel really bad or have questioned your connection, like, why can't they love me? And it's because they're not open. Or it could go the other way, Taurus, where, you know, you see them and you want to be with them, but you're just, you're not open. You're, your heart doesn't love. And you're like, why, Spirit? I don't understand. It's just because you've got to give yourself time to heal. Everything happens in the perfect time. And oftentimes, is not our perfect idea of timing right so Taurus this is a beautiful connection that is going to figure itself out it will it's just somebody's got to um, heal their emotional baggage first okay so let's pull some soulmate messages I'm so grateful for you, my love. You give so freely without condition. Life is an endless flow of blessings because of your great love. This, this is what this soulmate connection will evolve into. Absolutely beautiful. Everything happens for a reason. And even though the reason is sometimes unclear, I graciously accept all that, tra all that transpires and the knowing that it unfolds through love in accordance with the divine will of my soul. So this is uh, just a confirmation that everything that transpires between the two of you is part of your soul contract. And you both are learning and growing through this process you know through having to wait to be together um, through any sort of separation that you're having okay you both are growing and evolving through the process and it comes down to the soul contract but you will absolutely get there I surrender all negative beliefs that no longer serve me and replace them with the loving thoughts and intentions from this moment on I will only listen to the voice of love your love is an endless source of inspiration and this goes back to this where spirit is saying don't worry and don't obsess about this soulmate connection it will fall together in the perfect time okay it's just like everything will happen when it's meant to and and believe in that don't put your life on hold for anything okay because when you and the soulmate are meant to be together you better believe that you will be single and ready and they will be single and ready your energies will beautifully align it's just one of you does have to finish this healing it has to work through that in order to be able to have anything to truly offer to the other person and I don't know why I just put that back in the deck um, to be able to truly offer to the other person okay so Taurus just give this time it is a true soulmate connection the Sun is here there is a lot of healing that is going to now transpire within the person who needs to move through those energies all right and it, it it will awaken both of you will awaken to the true depth of this connection all right Taurus so those are your messages I am sending you lots of love and light take care